Hey guys and welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name's Tom. I'm a stay-at-home dad for five kids and I am a full-time eBay reseller. Um, I took a couple of days off and so I missed some what solds and there was some interesting stuff. So I'm going to go through those and then we'll get out to the shop. I'll find the rest of the things that I have, seven things I have to ship today. Uh, it's Tuesday and then we'll see what else we get into. First things first, this Herman Miller chair is turning into a little bit of an ordeal. I imagine everything will come out all right, but I listed it with free shipping at $349. The guy said, hey, can you take $250 if I come pick it up? And I thought, well, it's probably going to cost me $60 or $70 plus aggravation to ship. So, sure. And then he purchased it, but he didn't uh, put pick local pickup. He put shipping on the invoice. Um and I had it set up with free shipping, uh, but I don't think he's gonna like try to mess with me and say, well, you agreed to ship it and shipping isn't negotiated into the uh, offers. And so because it had free shipping, he could hold my feet to the fire and make me ship it, but I would just cancel it problem with the buyer's address. But the, long story short, he's sending a service to come get it and I don't know when that's going to be, and I don't know how it'll affect my account. Um, if he doesn't do it by tomorrow, when I have to ship it, I may have to just cancel the order and have him rebuy it with the local pickup and not the shipping. Uh, but then he's on the hook for the chair once the once his company has it and he's never seen it. But that's the boat he put himself in, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'll keep you posted on how that shakes out. Okay, so I showed you guys this uh, Goldvarg uh, car that I picked up for $4. Comps were like $70 to $135. I listed mine middle of the road at $84.99, and it sold in a couple hours. Pretty happy with that. I picked up these vintage Made in the U.S. pom-poms when they first brought out Halloween costumes and I paid a dollar and 14 cents a piece for them. So I'm $2 50 cents, including sales tax. And they sold for 30, I think they sold for th yeah, 29 99, uh, free shipping. Uh, the three sets of gloves, Harley gloves that I got, one of them sold for 20 and the other two both sold for 30. And so those are the 30s that the last set to sell. These women's jeans that uh, I picked up the other day, they're made in the US, uh, paid, paid $6 for them, sold for 15 plus shipping, but I shipped them in a flat rate envelope. And so while the customer paid $12.50 for shipping, I did make some money on the shipping because I only paid $9. So. Not a great flip, but um, able to make a little bit of money on the shipping. And, I mean, I made $10 on the sale. So, after fees, I'll probably end up making $10 on my $5 investment. This Harry the... Harry? Perry. Perry the Platypus uh, from Phineas and Ferb is a backpack. Uh, Levi picked it up for... $1.99 with the plush at Goodwill. $1.99 is expensive for a lot of plushes, but since most of them are $1.99, sometimes you'll find one like this that's worth the flip at $1.99. The buyer paid $12.60 plus shipping, and they paid $11 shipping, and I paid like eight to get it out of here. So um, that ended up being a pretty darn good flip. We saw that you saw the PS2 video games and there were three of them on the shelf and one of them had the wrong disc in it. One of them was Shrek and then I ended up taking the third one. That game I paid $1.99 for and it sold for $8.49 plus shipping. Couldn't have been easier to just put it in a, in a bubble mailer and mail it out. Uh, the gray sweatshirt that I picked up uh, for $29.99, sold the next day for $79.99, uh, 
plus sh no free shipping to Maine. And the customer sent me a message saying that they purchased it on the 19th, sent me a message and said, this is a gift that I have to give on Christmas Eve. Uh, so anything you can do to get it to Maine by then would be much appreciated. It's not on me that you're shopping on the 19th online. It is currently in Maine on the 21st. So I suspect that they will have it on time, but I shipped it priority same day. So that's everything I can do. That looks like it might've been enough. Uh, this brass Shalom bottle opener, I think is what it probably is looking at the shape of it. Um, it was a hoarder house thing sold for $5, 10 cents plus $6 shipping. Um, it probably cost me four fifty to ship the, um, uh, it's been sitting around forever. And I think I had it listed for $9.99 and I ended up marking it down and then taking an offer. This bag I found the other day at Goodwill and I was with the whole family and wasn't recording. And so we did it. I paid $7 for it. I didn't realize at the time that it was Loungefly. And Loungefly is a really good brand if you know you're buying Loungefly. Loungefly is often the Disney purses that are book bags that you see. I think they probably make other mini book bags. This, I just thought, man, that is a really high quality bag and it is video game themed. And I'm like, that's going to be worth more than $7. And I got it home and started looking it up and it was uh, legitimately... I could not find another example of this exact same one on eBay, on the internet at all, other than a blog post where somebody said, this is coming out from Loungefly. Does anybody know the release date for it? And they and it was 2018, but nobody knew. Um, so I listed it for what the purse, what the mini bag that is, more common would have sold for and I made plenty of money is it the rarest handbag ever made and this person bought it knowing that it's worth a thousand dollars maybe I don't care I bought it for seven bucks and I made 25 selling it so good on me and good on them uh, no nobody likes to see you hi. <laughs> say hi YouTube hi YouTube say Merry Christmas you're going to go watch Blippi? Yeah. All right. A rare vintage VHS horror always sells. Um, I was trying to sell them during, right before Halloween. Uh, but I got, I still have a handful. This one was $49.99 plus shipping. Buyers all in at $60. You will remember that I picked up three pairs of boots at a thrift store the other day. And they... Uh, one pair sold immediately for $300. There was a black pair that I was like, I can't identify these. Um, turns out they were UPS issue from the 70s, but the heel was like coming unglued and I didn't want to mess with them and I didn't want to try to sell them like that because they were only, they were $40 boots in good shape. They were, so they would have been a good flip had I, had they not had that flaw and had I noticed that flaw that I wouldn't have gotten them, but they, I ended up just donating them to Goodwill hoping somebody can buy them and repair them. Uh, but chances are good. They'll just get thrown away, but I feel better about it because I didn't throw them away. Anyway, the other pair of boots, Alan Edmonds, I said at the time I should get like 125 for them. And they, uh, sat for a while and I took some offers and I had some discussions with folks and I ended up selling them for 129. Buyers all in at 139, but I suspect that's tax. It's probably free shipping. I, I think I probably set them up for free shipping. So I paid $5 for these, $5 for the Aldens and $5 for the USPS ones. Even throwing the USPS ones away, I, end the day at 
429 on that $15 purchase. Uh, pretty cool. Dress ankle boots. They're not always good, but I'm going to pick them up. They're, these are hard. You could not squish this like it's rubber. This is a hard leather. They have, they are sewn onto the soles. And then the leather is stiff. So uh, just a couple of keys. Like you can see the graining in the leather on the bottoms. Um, a lot of them will have a harder sole than these but well you can see that the sole is the midsole is a is a almost like a wood product it's probably a heavy leather heavy tanned leather but it it almost seems like they're wooden bottoms they actually the old floor shimes have a wood grain pattern painted over but i men's dress shoes the you find you can find high 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 and men's dress shoes at estate sales and sometimes at thrift stores and it's not vintage band t-shirts and records and video games that everybody's looking for and so they get looked past and the thrift stores don't always mark them up but Allen Edmond is a good brand to look out for not always good but in an ankle a dress ankle yeah, gonna be good um and so yeah, I made some money. Something to look out for that isn't everything everybody's looking for. This is a new shelving system. I have one up. Ta-da! This hat sold for $11.99 plus shipping. I think I've had it for probably a year, more than a year. Um, it's Illinois Duck and Goose. So it's not like it has some mass appeal, but it is a cool hat. Uh, I wouldn't have paid more than a dollar or two for it. This I got at a garage sale and I asked how much the games were. And he's like, if you can take these big box PC games and do something with them, take them for free. And there was five or six. Uh, and this one sold for $11 plus shipping. This shirt I've had for a long time. It's an older skate brand. I don't even know how to say it. That's a K, not an X. L-A-K, like Lakia maybe. But it has a hole in it that I didn't notice when I bought it. it. Took me a minute to find it just now in the armpit. And so I was like, well, I'll see if it'll sell. And it did eventually for $7. I probably paid $2.49 at Goodwill. This guy I paid five bucks for. I don't remember what he sold for. I think 15 plus shipping. If it was 15 free shipping, then it probably wasn't hardly worth picking up. But uh did eventually sell. I don't think I still don't think I'm in the profit on that Ollie's buy. Uh this sold for like nine bucks. Just uh, Halo 2 for the Xbox. Pretty straightforward. These floor shimes, another pair of dress shoes. I paid two dollars for these. These are on my dress shoes to not pick up list because they are. Wing tips is this style and they're black and they're not vintage. So if these have a V cleat, a cleat here that is shaped like a V and they have one, two, three, four, five nails, then they are really good, especially in brown. I don't always pick them up in black, but these were $2 at an estate sale and boy if they've been worn at all they've they don't show it like there's a little teeny tiny bit of dra heel drag but i mean they don't show wear at all so this is what i was talking about the brush strokes that make this look like it's wood um so I wouldn't have picked these up had they not been $2 in the box, virtually brand new. And I've probably had them for eight months, and they did finally sell today.